us to respond to darkness with light. Thanks for joining us tonight at 10. We start with a deadly Colorado shooting that's claimed five lives so far. 25 others are hospitalized. Now in its wake, Oklahomans are offering to help those impacted by the tragedy. Dean Stein has more. An LGBTQ club in Colorado Springs, Colorado became the scene of deadly violence Saturday night when a gunman walked in and began shooting. Police say among those injured was the suspected gunman. Now a local group says they want to help those hurt most by this tragedy. We here at Diversity Center try to um, make these people's lives valued. Um, it's not just a day of sadness, but it's a day to uh, celebrate these people. Today, the Diversity Center of Central Oklahoma held a Trans Day of Remembrance event hoping to provide peace and hope for Oklahomans. It's an international day of memorial for trans people that have been killed as a result of acts of violence. We are seeing more and more of those things happening to our community and it's um, really a, a tragic thing. Last night, police say 22-year-old Anderson Lee Aldrich brought in two firearms to the club and allegedly used a long rifle to shoot multiple people while on the dance floor. People who were inside the club say they are still trying to process what happened. I lost friends. Bodies on the ground. Blood. Shattered glass window. It was just, it was so heartbreaking. Many here in Oklahoma are posting about people they knew inside the club who lost their lives. The Diversity Center of Central Oklahoma says they have help available to those who need it. We give out swag bags and it has information and resources so that people know where to go for safe places to go, affirming care. Overall, they say they want to provide a safe space for everyone and be a light in this dark time. Tonight, Oklahomans are standing in solidarity with those impacted by the shooting. If you would like to know more about the help available to you, we've posted that on our News 9 app and website. Deanne Stein, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.